high-profile fraud trial of former FTX CEO Bank Sam Bankman-Fried kicking off this week with opening arguments and testimony from former FTX engineers and software developers. Joining us with the latest is Teddy Schleifer. He's uh, one of the founding partners at Puck, has a great newsletter, and has been covering this uh, almost religiously, Teddy. Uh, your, your early takeaways as you've been, uh, you've been watching this this week. I mean, it, it's surreal. I mean, it, it's obviously surreal. But just to see somebody who, you know, uh, a year ago, Andrew, you and I were um, so interested in kind of how high this plane was going to fly to see, you know, Sam Bankman fried a uh, person who's frankly my age, you know, two rows or three rows ahead of me, being accused of a massive financial fraud with his parents, you know, an aisle, an aisle down from me, uh, you know, uh, just shocked at kind of what happened. Uh, the, the speed of this is, is, is what's my early takeaway, Andrew, is just how fast things can, can go up and then right. how fast things can go down. Teddy, what is your sense, having been in the room uh, and seen uh, some of the opening statements and, and, and the like, yeah. and obviously you, you have a, a good sense of the kind of testimony we're going to see over the next couple of weeks. You know, there's almost a view, the conventional wisdom, let's call it, is that this is an open and shut case, that he's going to go away to prison for a very, very long time. There's a couple of folks out there that have a sort of unconventional take, I guess, uh, that say that, you know, over the next couple of weeks, potentially a, a jury is going to be convinced otherwise. Do you, do you see that? When, when you hear people say that, do you say, now nah, that's crazy? Do you say, I, I can see, I see how that could happen? What's, how do you see this evolving? I think a good way to think about it is, you know, what's the story we're going to tell if somehow Sam Bankman fried gets acquitted? How did it happen? Um, I think it happened because... There are 12 jurors reaching unanimity on, 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 on any of these charges um, is going to be difficult, right? I mean, there's 12 people. These are, you know, sitting in jury selection. These are folks from a wide cross-section of the Southern District of New York. Um, convincing one of these 12 people that what Sam Megman fried did was, quote-unquote, reasonable, that it was reasonable to expect, you know, crypto prices to not crash. It was reasonable to expect that, you know, Carolyn Ellison... Uh, would have done more of a hedge uh, on Alameda Research's uh, uh, investments. Um, I think the story we're going to tell is that Sam didn't convince 12 people. Sam convinced one person, one juror. And he does right. have that sort of charm, sadly, that um, hooked a lot of people. So what's just one more? What is your sense? You believe that he's going to testify? I do, yes. I, I think he will not be able to resist it, just knowing him. Um, and I think there's a little bit of nothing left to lose um, that, uh, that that mentality can be dangerous, obviously, right. but I think... What do you, what do you make? There was, there was a good piece yesterday in the Wall Street Journal, um, and I imagine this will come into the case, uh, about one of the engineers at uh, LegX, which was something that they had purchased, who had seen in the code uh, that Alameda was coded effectively such that they, they didn't need to keep collateral or, or that the, you know, typically for just about every other account on the system they would start to liquidate your positions if you got to a certain number. Whereas right. with Alameda, it was basically coded out so that that would not take place. And he brought this to the attention of one of uh, Sam's lieutenants, who I imagine may very well testify, we'll see. Um, and all of a sudden, and he took out some of the code or did something to make it look like maybe he was doing something about this. How do you see that? Is, is that the most central piece of this whole case, do you think? I think it's extraordinarily damaging because Sam's defense is essentially that I was an overextended guy, you know, building a plane while flying it, to quote his prosecute, to quote his lawyer's uh, opening, opening argument, to use that sort of startup cliche. And in, in that situation, you know, prosecutors are going to use that evidence and say, this was intentional. This was a fraud because there was, there was foresight. This was in the code to have this back door that allowed Alameda to do whatever it wants. So... You know, Sam's going to argue that this was basically an all an accident, sort of a Nixonian mistakes were made. Um, uh, every, every piece of code that contradicts that, that shows that there was actual, you know, forethought put into, show, put into uh, the, the, the uh, uh, mechanics here, I think is extraordinarily damaging. And I thought that story uh, undercut a lot of the defense's case. Hey, Teddy, I mean, if you boil this down to the just most simple, um, basic outline of things, which is what I would mm -hmm. do if I were in a situation trying to prosecute it, 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 there was massive amount of money that was missing, the funds that were used just like a piggy bank to do whatever he wanted with. I mean, I don't know how you argue around that when you were taking customer funds 
to buy your parents incredibly expensive places, using them to, you know, give money to all kinds of political candidates. It just we've spoken with other people in the industry who were like, we couldn't figure out where all the money was coming from. Mm. I mean, it, it, just boil it down to there's a whole bunch of money here, and I used it however I wanted. Sure, and, and prosecutors are really going to try and strip away all the complexity here. It was interesting during opening arguments. Um, prosecutors, you know, they did not want to explain, like, what crypto was. Like, it was interesting at one point, you know, they had a dashboard up on, on, on the camera in the courtroom, like, showing, here's what a, a wallet looks like. Here's, you know, when you log yeah. into your bank account, $50,000, you expect to be able to get $50,000. Complexity yeah. is Sam Bankman-Fried's friend here. And sure. I think you're totally right that prosecutors are going to try to make this about someone stole your lunch money and, and, and you know, right. he bought himself a, Bah a Bahamas penthouse. That doesn't seem right, does it? That's kind of their, you know, uh, bone, bones level uh, right. uh, readout of this case. Teddy, I want to try two defenses out on you just to see how they play for you. Sure. Um, on, the, on the coding, meaning this, the, what, what's been called a backdoor, others uh, call it, you know, coding for each client and saying, here are the rules for this client versus this client. Of course, Alameda having a completely different rule than everybody else. That the argument will be made that Alameda, as you know, originally took in funds on behalf of FTX, meaning FTX customers were funneling funds through Alameda, in fact. And that because of that, this sort of weird, the weird genesis of the company, especially early on, that they coded it out because they were moving money in a way that they wouldn't with any other client on the platform to begin with. Mm -hmm. Does that hold yes. water with you? I mean, sure. I mean, I mean th th that has not really been um, uh, emphasized, I'll say, by defense lawyers in, in their kind of their, their motions. But, um, right. you know, they, they clearly want to are going to kind of blame the lawyers as much as possible. It seems to be their, the core of their strategy. So, Andrew, I, th I think that's a better defense than what we've seen so far. Um, I, but, I, in, yeah. my own, in my own reporting, I, that's, that's the, that, that is, that is a, a, a pro you're right. It's a better articulation of the defense than, than I've seen them write down. But I believe that, that yeah. is, that's part of it. I, again, I'm not uh, saying it's a viable one. I was just curious where you landed. And my other one for you, which is interesting to me, and I don't think it actually changes the outcome, but you may think differently, is it now increasingly appears that actually all the money, the FTX money, will come back. Not to say that it was the original money that will come back, but the yeah. total money lost will not ultimately be lost, in part because investments like the one that they made, for example, in Anthropic, in th Anthropic for example, say. Yeah. Will, do, will be so successful that when people look at the total numbers, now, to me, that doesn't change the sort of arguments around theft and the like, but... I don't know if you think psychologically that changes an argument for a juror. Sure, right. If, if, you know, if someone stole your lunch money, but they gave it back to you like two years later from some speculative investment they made in you know, their, uh, well, their you know, father's company, uh, <laughs> is it okay if you give up? If you, is it okay if you reimburse the lunch money with someone else's lunch money uh, you know, a year later? Yes, but Sam got lucky on that count.